Hi, my name is Lindsay. I work uh, mostly in the Sutton branch, but in all branches of the Georgina Public Library. And I'm often asked for book recommendations. So I thought, since people are stuck at home and probably running out of all the books that they had on hand to read, that they wanted to read, that I would do some book recommendations. Only if you're like me, half the books you want to read are on hold or checked out from our online services. So I thought I would use my bookcase at home as inspiration for some great reads I could recommend that you can actually find on our e-resources to download and read right now. So my first recommendation though is drink tea or read books, be cozy. You gotta set yourself up for a really good relaxing time and sit back and enjoy what you find because we have to do this. Anyway, that's my little intro. So when I started to look into my bookshelf, I realized actually that a lot of my favorite reads I have lent out or I have given to my daughter or other people have said, oh, I wish I could read this or I'd love to read that. And I go, I have that in my bookcase. Here you go. So I don't actually have on hand a lot of the books I was originally thinking of recommending. But I thought actually then that I would break it down a bit and I'm going to start with nonfiction for fiction readers because this is an area that is really overlooked by people when they're looking for a great read. Um, we tend to think of nonfiction as either textbooks with lots of footnotes and, and, and all kinds of references, or just how-tos, places we go when we want information, great gardening books, uh, cookbooks, how to build a deck, how to fix your lawn, those kind of things. And we have a huge collection of that on, in the library. I have actually a pretty good collection here in my home on that. And you'll find a lot of those in our e-resources, but that's not what I'm going to recommend. The other area that a lot of people seek out um, books in our nonfiction section for are biographies and memoirs. And there's a lot of really great reads um, that a uh, big, huge genre now is memoirs, uh, Glass Castle, that kind of thing. I've got a couple here, Mandela, uh, very popular, Becoming. So those are things you're going to seek out based on your own interests. Um, I can certainly put up a few recommendations. I'll do that here. Um, but really what I'm foca focusing on are books that are off the beaten path that you may not have encountered. Um, some of them you will have because they've been made into movies. But as we all know, sometimes reading the book is a little better than the movie. So uh, I am going to recommend some what we call narrative nonfiction. So these are books that read like novels. They're very engagingly written. The characters are really well developed. They're interesting and they're ripping good stories, um, but they're in some cases almost unbelievable. And the fact that they really happen just keeps you glued to the book because we always sort of suspend our disbelief a little when we're reading a good novel or a good thriller. But these, some of these are, you've got to be kidding, this really happened. And they are really gripping tales and really well written. So I thought this would be an opportunity to recommend some of those. So just uh, off the top here, I have, where's that one that we had? Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. This was written actually in 1929. So you think it would be stilted or old fashioned and it's not at all. It is considered the book about the Endurance, which was the name of the boat that Ernest Shackleton took to Antarctica and got iced in. So this is the story of Ernest Shackleton and his team. Uh, there have been documentaries made of it. There have been a number of books written, but this is a, a really good read. And um, I know that it was given to my husband and then he recommended it to me and I passed it along to a friend and she read it and her husband read it and they passed it along to another couple who both read it and so on. And it finally wound its way back home and it appeals to both men and women. It's very interesting if you like um, books about place. It, 
I really learned a lot about Antarctica. I thought it was just one big slab of ice, which it's not. Um, but it's an unbelievable story, really. It's a story of great leadership. And there are parts in this book that you go, there is no way this happened. But it's a really good read, and it is available right now on Overdrive. So I would recommend this one. Another one written by an author that I can easily recommend. She's written a few things, Laura Hillebrand, and um, two famous ones. This is one. This was a great read. Uh, they did make a movie of it. Um, the book has, delves into the quirky characters a lot more. Um, her other famous book that I really loved and that kind of got me started, not entirely, but got me started a lot more into the narrative nonfiction is Unbroken which they did make a movie of. The book is way better. Um, very engagingly written. A good, good read. <clears throat> um, Heart of the Sea is the uh, tragedy of the whale ship Essex. Um, they did make a movie of this too. And this is actually the story that was the basis for Moby Dick. And again, it's a, in some ways a horrifying tale, but just such an interesting read, interesting characters, and it evokes the place and time, and um, a lot easier to read than Moby Dick, um, but it's just a fascinating tale. And, they, and, and as so many of these are, you just go, wow, that really happened, and they, and they, they made it. <laughs> in so many of these things, you know what happened, you know the outcome, which makes it even more interesting that it's such an engaging read because one of my favorites and i actually don't have a copy of it right now because i lent it out is uh, boys on the boat so when you read the what it's about you think oh, i don't want to read that it's about the 1936 olympics and a rowing team that went to hitler's 1936 olympics you know the outcome it is such a edge of the seat read and with such entertaining characters, um, great stories, and you really can't put it down. And I discovered it through our book club and every one of us loved it. So I really highly recommend Boys in the Boat. Uh, John Krakauer, you may have heard of him from Into Thin Air. This is another of his books. There's, um, Into Thin Air was sort of a memoir. But again, gauging reads, incredible tales, um, and you learn something from them. Uh, if you're so inclined, you might want to venture into true crime. This is a, a classic, Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. Very well written. Uh, Helter Skelter, if you watched uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you might want to delve into what really happened with the Manson murders. Helter Skelter was written by the prosecutor, and again, it's well written. It's a readable book. It's not just a description. So those are uh, kind of true crime examples you might want to explore. Um, there's lots of those, so you can just go in true crime on our e-resources, and it'll bring up all kinds of titles for you to look for. Uh, this is an interesting one because of all the books, this is quite scientific. It does get into a lot of the science of medical research and cells, but it's a really good background story as well. I think there was a not great movie made of it, but uh, there's a lot of human interest in this story, and it's a really good read. Uh, Eric Larson is another one who does um, narrative nonfiction very well, very engaging reading. This particular one um, takes place during um, uh, World War, well, the, uh, the lead up to World War II and the American family stuck in Germany uh, as, as Hitler's Nazi part, National Socialist Party and gets, gets going. It's a very, very good read, very engaging. This is a very recent one, um, was probably one of the hot bestsellers, so hopefully it is still available. It was when I last looked called The Perfect Predator, and kind of interesting to read in these times, because this is about um, one woman's sort of fight to save her husband, who caught some very virulent bacterial infection. And it's um, scientific again, but quite an engaging read, and um, keeps you on the edge of your seat, and you can feel for her. You're, you're there with her the whole way. Um, again, they made a movie of this one, The Perfect Storm. 
but it's uh, uh, just a, a really well written account of what happened, as far as they know, and um, um, engaging in just an incredible story, really. So another really good read, Gripping. Um, I found this in my bookcase. It's an older book, Schindler's List. You may have seen the movie, but it, again, um, a heartfelt story uh, that uh, of human endurance and kindness. We could kind of all use some kindness in our life right now. So possibly a good read for you. So those are just some suggestions that I pulled out of my bookcase. Um, explore nonfiction because it can be engaging and entertaining and also just these are great stories that need to be told and are being told and they're not um they shouldn't be hidden uh, another one i just popped into my head was probably the first one that i read in that kind of narrative nonfiction. it's a bit of true crime midnight in the garden of good and evil they did make a movie of that too and the whole time i was reading it i didn't really realize that this was actually true until about maybe halfway through it <laughs> so um so those are engaging reads that will appeal to fiction readers and will probably appeal to both men and women so there you go this is my first off the beaten track recommendations <laughs>